one of them was already open like the locks were the lock was open and uh, when I opened the suitcase there was a ticket in it so it was a customs ticket and I I I I love the way you talk to me when nobody is listening <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and uh, first of all, thank you so much for showering, actually showering your love upon me. Uh, it has helped me grow my channel a lot. The day I landed in USA, I was so sure that I'm gonna make videos because there, there was nobody to tell me like how should things go and I have nobody in America who can tell me those things, if nothing. So, one thing that I was sure of that is that I'll be a virtual friend to many of you and I'll make videos about it. So when I'm making these videos, the only thing that I, I was looking for was support from you guys. And believe me that I receive tens of messages every day um, and you guys are appreciating the channel so much that I'm going to continue making these videos. Also, uh, thank you to all these 800 people who have subscribed my channel. If you haven't subscribed it yet, I would highly recommend you to subscribe it, but it depends on you as well. So today's agenda for the video, as you read in the title, is about the food items and the packing list. So uh, I'm going to give you a pack one-on-one -on -one packing list in the next video. But for today, I'm going to tell you about food items that you can and cannot bring to US by moving abroad so uh, there are things uh, for example the things which we don't get very easily in US so uh, for example ghee so uh, my I belong to a dairy family and my mother wanted me to take uh, the uh, homemade ghee and butter so she packed that along with me but i landed there i opened my suitcases the lock was open and uh, when i opened the suitcase there was a ticket in it so it was a customs ticket and I, I i till date i don't know what they took out from my luggage but yeah there were tickets in all three of my luggages i i took three uh, 23 kgs bag and there were tickets customs tickets in all three of them stating that my bag was opened by us customs and they had taken out stuff from my luggage which was not allowed to enter us till date i don't know what stuff they took out but then yeah uh, maybe they checked something uh, all the items i was carrying was uh, according to the uh, us custom rules maybe maybe i don't, I don't know i still don't know so First, I'm, first of all, I'm going to talk about food items that are banned entry into the US. So there are four different kinds of products that you cannot take to US. The first of them is the agricultural products. So uh, agricultural products might carry foreign pests and diseases that pose threat to crop production and livestock in the US. So uh, US people don't allow agricultural products from other countries. Uh, but through the travelers to carry so it is very important that if you are carrying any kind of agricultural product for example rice pulses flow um, you should first of all not carry them loosely packed and you should carry them in a sealed uh, packing by the manufacturer uh, and second of all it should be uh, mentioned in the declaration form that you get while on board so what I carried was, uh, I, I didn't carry any kind of rice, I didn't carry any kind of flow. Uh, I, I carried pulses from packaged ISI mug, uh, agro mug manufacturer. So I think that's why they allowed it and the custom officials didn't take it out. The second kind of thing that you are not allowed any kinds of fruits and vegetables. So do not want any kind of food pests and diseases which comes along with different fruits. So you are not allowed to take mangoes, limes, oranges or any sort of that thing that can harm local crop in the United States. Do not carry them with you anywhere in your luggage. Uh, the third kind of product that is not allowed is any kind of animal byproducts. So you are not allowed to carry any fresh, dried, canned or cooked meat 
in any form the fourth kind of thing is any kinds of plants and seeds so um plants and seeds also fall under agricultural products and they also can harm us crops so they uh, the us people do not want you to carry any kinds of seeds uh the next thing i'm going to talk about is food items that are allowed by the us customs and border protection so there are uh, many uh, grocery stores there so i'm going to tell it out very loud that i uh, people who ask me what they should carry from here i would say nothing just take along yourself and that's all but then for the initial days when you're like settling up things when you still uh, going through the jet lag and all uh, you you don't want to go out and shop for groceries so the so the better is uh, that you take some like one week two week or uh, one month a ration along with you so uh, the things that you can easily carry is any kind of spices so any kind of uh, first of all whatever you are carrying carry it in a sealed package and it should be packaged by the manufacturer okay so spices any kind of spices you can take uh, the spices which are commercially labeled if you want to carry any kind of homemade spices uh, uh, you can get get them packed from the market the packagers also know what kind of packing is allowed just tell them that you want to carry them internationally so they'll pack it accordingly and the next thing is uh, you can do is put them in airtight containers and seal the airtight container so you can do that as well the next thing you can carry definitely is tea and coffee so if you are tea lover or coffee lover take how much ever tea and coffee you want it is uh, allowed anyway uh, the third kind of thing is nuts so uh, any kind of dried nuts almonds uh, peanuts roasted cooked uh, or steamed or boiled any kind of nuts ground nuts you can take along with you the next is milk and dairy products any kind of butter or cheese if you want to carry if they are uh, commercially packed and packaged well then you can carry them because otherwise it can harm your luggage as well uh, you can carry cottage cheese you can carry and uh, any kind of milk powders i also took milk powders along with me and uh, uh, it went absolutely fine uh, the next is fish and seafood so small quantities of canned frozen dried or smoked fish and uh, seafood for personal use can be carried to us uh next is pickles and ready mixes so unopened and commercially packed again any kind of pickles are allowed to be carried in instant noodles and ramen which do not contain any kind of meat because as i mentioned earlier animal by products such as meat is not allowed so any any kinds of instant noodles can also be carried uh sweets and snacks again carry any amount of sweets and snacks and just mention a small amount of it in the uh, declaration form that you will get while on flight uh next is chocolates candies and baked items so you can take any amount of chocolates candies and baked items uh, the only exception that i found is uh kinder joy so you if you are fond of kinder joys you cannot take them though you will get them in the us as well so so above all mentioned products that are told are admissible at the us customs there sh- there are chances that uh, us customs might uh, withhold certain food items for further inspection so these are the things that i personally thought uh, are allowed and carried in my luggage and they went through but uh, it, this also depends case to case you can try carry them uh, uh, the the maximum that they do is uh, they put the ticket in your luggage and they open your luggage and take the stuff out that's all so thank you all for watching this video i hope you liked it um, if it was useful to you even one person do like it comment uh, i am ready to help you over instagram so if you ping me on instagram thank you all uh, see you in the next